Right, we're making puff pastry. So we start with our flour that's gone into the large bowl, added our salt, cut your butter into chunks, and now these need to be loosely rubbed into the flour. Remember, rubbing in method, you squeeze your butter and your flour together with your fingertips, and then you kind of lift it up a little bit as you go, so you get a bit of a lighter mix. So now we've got our butter and our flour rubbed in together. It's gonna to be quite chunky because this recipe um, has a very high ratio of butter to flour. You then add, I would say one tablespoon at a time of water, mix that in, and then see if you can form a firm dough. And if it doesn't want to come together, you add another tablespoon of water. It says two to three on the recipe, but sometimes one spoon will do. Knead it for a little bit, not very long. And then you wrap this in cling film and leave it in the fridge to chill for five minutes. Right, so now we'll go flour our surface. Get our pastry out, which has been chilling in the fridge for five to 10 minutes. Now we're gonna roll that out. Flatten it a bit first before rolling out. And because it's got a lot of butter and it's quite sticky, we're gonna make sure we use quite a bit, bit of flour. And we're gonna form it into a rectangular shape because we want it to be a rectangle. Put some flour on the rolling pin as well. Then we're gonna roll it into a rectangle as best as we can. You can straighten the edges a little bit afterwards. And then we're gonna fold the top third down to the center Then the other third over. So now we've got three layers. A more flour on. And then we're going to roll it out again. It doesn't really matter if you do it sideways or lengthwise, maybe this is a little bit easier. Now do the same thing again, fold a third over to the middle, bottom third over to the middle, and then we're gonna cover it up and chill it again for another five to 10 minutes. Right, now we're gonna roll our pastry out again. Once more, rectangular shape. We've now done twice, so that is two times three layers. We've got nine layers. If we do it again, we should have a bit of maths 27 layers. Straighten our edges and again fold a third of the way in. Another third of the way in. Don't be too worried about a bit of butter coming out. You should have a sort of marbled effect with your butter. And then we're gonna chill this. And then that is good to go to be rolled out and used for anything you'd like. Sauce rolls, pasties, turnovers. That is our puff pastry.